Hello everybody, this is Negative Light, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Minecraft Live will be at noon Eastern Daylight Time. I will be live uh, reacting to it in real time. And if you'd like to join, make sure to tune in here or make sure to tune in on the Minecraft channel. And if you maybe haven't watched my, my, my friends and I uh, analyze all three of the mobs and give our theories for what Minecraft 1.21 might be, 1.21 or is it 1.20? I can't remember the numbers, man. Um, I'm so excited. It's it's really early in the morning. <laughs> so I will see you all in just a couple hours. If you guys would like to see those analyses and our kind of overview theories, make sure to watch the rest of this video. And without further ado, this is Negative Light. Can't wait to see you soon. Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm with Negative and Star Strikes, and we are reacting to the first mob to vote. Yes. Say hi, guys. Hi, I'm Negative. Potato. <laughs> That's the retard. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we are we are good friends. I think he got the joke. We're Minecraft friends. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna be reacting to the first mob. I think this is called the Glare, based on the title. Yes. Um, Blue's already seen this video because he's a loser. He also presented the idea, so he's not really a loser. Um, and he, and he presented the idea after what? Yes. I said, My excuse is a little brother. Yes. I did not so. say negative light. I'm just realizing that. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Most people know who my real what my real name is, or at least we, my first. We name. always accidentally yeah. do that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I have not actually seen this new mob thing, so yes. You so you're getting genuine reactions. Not. Um, so we'll with be making- seeing, That's one thing, with me seeing early, I know the best image to look on okay. to see everything. Go, um, well then we will see it in just a moment. Yes. Um, but I think we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure to be subscribed to our channels. We'll be posting uh, about all of these. I might do like a full-fledged video as well with all of them together. Yeah. So, yeah. let's go! It's a weird bee. Hello? You're so cute. Are you lost too? I say it's more creepy. Not either. the word I would use. Yikes. It's too um. dark in here. You must be the glare. The mob that lets players know when they are in an area that is dark enough for monsters. The glare flies to dark areas for you. When it gets grumpy, you will know that it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. You can also bring it with you and prove once and for all that you can be Interesting. and cute at the same time. Will Tiny Agnes ever find Tiny Jens? Whose lair is this? Do you want the glare to join Minecraft? Tune into Minecraft Live on October 16th. Well, to I gotta yeah. say, I'm not particularly interested uh, in that one. Before, go, hold up, hold up. Uh, Let's watch it all the way through. That's it. That's it. Okay, so that's everything. I go before the mob flies out, that is the best view. Okay. Uh, give us just a second. So... Out there, right there. Stop right there. There we go. So, so I'm... Uh, go ahead. I'm less interested in the mob and more interested in what is in the top secret box. Yes, Actually, well... Okay, let's I, let uh, Blue talk. Yeah. I am interested in the bee. So if you see, there's an armor stand next to the bee thing, and that's an armor stand there, too. Oh, and it's a whole bee so armor. Huh. With... Whoa, 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 wait. With, With wings. With wings on. And, and, and so, mind you, uh, unlike the other trailers that are produced, this is produced by Mojang Studios. So all of this is theoretically official. Also, it's look at the flashlight, like, too. It almost looks yeah. copper. Yeah, and she talked about how it was too dark in there to see anything when she poked a hole in the ceiling. So I'd say that they're adding a flashlight, which, you know, is kind of something we've wanted for a while and uh, a light source that we could carry around. The bee suit, I have to wonder if that's a new way to fly, similar to Elytra, but maybe it's more like slow hovering or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. And then... The top secret box? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's, that's gonna just, be... Uh, that's just a hint saying, hey, there's something coming. Yeah. I mean, so, 
with that, with the so the flashlight was something that was actually suggested for as like an enchantment for the spyglass, which makes no sense if we really think about it. No, uh, that for doesn't. Mojang, but Mojang is also notorious for listening to people and then solving problems that the Mo that the Minecraft community creates in a way that we didn't expect. I mean, like, if you want the the uh, like light effect as an enchantment for the spyglass, I would say turn it into like a night fishing goggle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be the best thing yeah. to do for it. Um, and the other thing but, is with that, it would also explain why they are currently. So I, I keep up to date with the snapshots and I've been up to date with the experimental snapshots. Um, they're modifying the Elytra mechanics. So right now, if you Ooh, glide, huh? it doesn't take damage, but it is slower with slower. And when you use rockets is when it does take damage. It's like a also, glide is fine. I don't like this change. I know. you. Because I never fly without rockets anyway. And yeah. now the times where I'm not going to be using rockets, you're slowing me down. No, I the rocket like launches. It. No, the rocket launch. So normal gliding is at the same speed, but then when you fire a rocket, it's slightly slower, and that's to prevent chunk loading, like that weird chunk loading that happens when you're flying too fast. Because you know, like they're doubling uh, the size of the world. So How can dare I they put a limit on my capabilities? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if there are B wings to do another type of flying, you might be happy in a different flying. <laughs> Well, that kind of fly no, because that kind of flying isn't going to be like aerial acrobatics. That kind of flying is going to be more like the flying in Super Mario Galaxy, where you get the bee wings, and you kind of <laughs> hover around a little bit, you move very slowly, and then you your wings get tired and you sink and fall. That's what I imagine this is going to be like. Yeah. Also, can I make a guess of what this update might be just by this background? I have a feeling this is a dungeon update. That could make sense. Because they said, who layer is this? They pointed and specifically made a comment about this location. What if um, they make, like, a new boss, too? Because that's what been one of the things that people have been theorizing about for a while. Is like, Minecraft hasn't added a new boss in a good while. And a Spider uh, Queen is, like, a, an awesome boss to add. Also, Question. Yes. Are those glass slabs? Wait, what? Where? 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 Right here? Like, Yeah. No, no, if you look at that's it, that's just the lighting. Yeah, that's like a lighting effect. That's a um, weird lighting effect to suddenly basically chop it in half. Yeah. I mean, no, because if you look at it's how it breaks. It's also doing with the copper one in the middle. Yeah, and how it breaks, it's not normal, so. Okay. Yeah. But if it's a dungeon update, because you updated the caves, now your dungeons are boring in their caves. <laughs> I mean, and it would also be a good time to update, like, the Nether Fortress. I mean, I I have a theory that they could also try to update the end, but it I think we have to wait. Will, it also I definitely will want work, an end update. It also would work with um them pressing back the archaeologist thing. That is true. Time. Oh, my gosh. What if they made it to where you needed to, like, use the archaeology mechanic... And Ender and Eyes of Ender to find the uh, Ender portal. Ooh, <laughs> that would be an interesting modification and could add a ton to the lore of the game. Oh yes, it could. Yeah, but okay. enough of the other mechanics. I think we should move on to our thoughts the on the mob. actual me mechanics of the mob. Yeah, the so. thing that we actually started the video for. So, yeah. <laughs> what are the different categories of people? There's the fighters, there's the red stoners, and there is the builders, right? Yeah. And then also explorers. Yeah. And explorers. So let's go down the list of those and see what how this mob would help those groups if it assisted. So let's start with redstone since you both like redstone. So I could see it being used as like a maybe if if there was a way to make something that could follow it or make it like place a block or something you could make it to theoretically automate like lighting up a building or something but redstone wise i mean it's an interesting mechanic but i don't i don't think there's much i, I think it will help you check your mob farm that's true what do you think star strikes i mean maybe i don't think i can't see much unless 
Okay, so I could see that maybe they put in some redstone mechanics that aren't mentioned in the video. Uh, random things like uh, maybe you can make it so that compare. <clears throat> Sorry, comparators uh, are now able to detect uh, states of a mob. Like you can hook it up to something like a is something like a, it was called the glare, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can hook it up to the glare and tell when it's um, grumpy and when it's not. You know, a mob uh, mob observer was something that people have been talking about. That would work so much with sheep. That would be so much fun. Oh, it would be crazy. What would then you can sheep? tell when the sheep yeah. actually has wool instead of doing the grass block. My mind went to uh, the different sheep colors and what you could do with that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um... So blue, you're kind of our bigger big explorer in the group. What's your thoughts on its utility for exploration? Well, so if you're trying to find a dark cave, like find a new cave, if you're in the sunlight outside, you can if you can carry him somewhere and then drop him down, he's going to find your you a cave because they are dark. So if you're trying to look for like a dark a cave, he's going to find you your expand your adventure to a cave. So I can see him as like a guide, a person, a creature you would follow to help you find your adventure. Yeah, that could work. Building the building wise. Oh yes. Oh that I yeah, that'll help yes. a lot, especially with. So now, um, and I don't know if y'all are aware, the mechanic for mob spawning is changing to where you have it's just a light level zero for mob spawning from now on. Yeah, Absolute which darkness. I didn't understand with this because the idea was that he was able to detect anywhere that was a light level low enough for a mob to spawn. Except, he'll go but... right there, and then he'll start growling. Okay, so he hunts them down for you. Got it. Yes. Yeah, just so, in case you miss one spot. If you're a builder, and you're trying to build this base, and you keep having a creeper spawn in your base, and you don't know where, you could use him to find that sp So you can stop the creeper from spawning. Yeah, or that's going to be so mob, So, yes. Yeah, this is this is probably what going to be. If this gets in, it would be of a, a huge amount of utility for the game. I would wonder how tameable they are and how useful. But yeah. I have a feeling they'd be like the ocelot where you can scoot them up with something, and then when you pop them down, they'll go do their work. True. Yeah, I do have a slight problem with this mob, which is it seems like he'll be extremely useful when you go and build build your building, but once that job is complete. It's suddenly the most useless mob in the game. It, well, it falls he also on the same can level help of you polar find bears. caves. He, he would help you find caves. But even then, if you've explored all the caves in your area, yes. you don't want to go caving. So he would have to have some other use, possibly for the fighters. I mean... Yeah, that, that's hmm. the whole thing. Uh, he wouldn't really help he needs a, fighters. Unless yeah, he I think he needs a late game. Mobs. Yeah, I think he yeah. needs a late game purpose. Hey, he looks like a vine. Well... Tall grass and vines sometimes blind mobs. He could maybe hover over them and blind them. Maybe he can act as a vine farm, like he can place vines I in random locations. I don't think they would do that. I don't That's... think so. No. But if they do a thing where the mob would just hover over, if it's hovering over a creature in the dark spot, that creature can't see you. Hmm. I don't know. That would be maybe. What if what because if he, he looks like a plant. Down... He looks like a plant that you usually see that would cover your eyesight. Yeah. Well, he would either be like a. I think it would be like a slime type mob or a creeper. Like he looks either he, creeper or slimeish. He, he looks like that I fine have... plant. I have a feeling he's going to be in that biome with the glow berries and. I have an idea. What? Yes. What if he? What if light? Uh, the way he hunts down light level zero spaces. He also can hunt down nearby hostile mobs. So he'll run over to a mob, a hostile mob, and he'll start growling. And maybe he'll run away from the mob, or he'll try to stay just out of range. Whether or not the mob would pursue him, I don't know. Uh, but at that point, he could act as sort of an alert if something like a creeper comes by. Because creepers, they don't make any noise. But if his growling is loud enough that you can hear it, uh, it could well, have that's almost what alert. parrots are supposed to be. They're supposed to be your alarm system. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. So basically, he serves the same function as a parrot. And, and Maybe you wanna, this could be and an alternative. And Mochain does not take functions away from other creatures unless they're splitting the creature in half. I think that I, I, I do think that this is a really good mob 
and I think we'll have to explore it more uh, as we get to know the other mobs. But um, yeah, I think that we, I think this will be fun. Uh, one, two, this mob has... how much do you like this mob right now? I'll give I mean, it a seven. I'll Sorry, give it. A, I'll give it a four, honestly, because I'm not really too impressed by it. Uh, I think that it has a lot of potential, but from what I've seen, I'm not. I'm not super impressed by it. I just want to build a swamp monster with it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it at a 5. It's literally in the middle. It could be a really good mob, or it could be a really... Um... Oh, this is just prophetic. Let's -a go! Tiny Agnes, where are you? There's no box. Hello, fellow music fan. You're my only friend now that Tiny Agnes is gone. Here, take my last cookie. You deserve it. Typical. You must be the LA. Thanks for collecting all these cookies for me. Would you do that with any item I give you? Hooray! No more collecting for me! Ooh. And you dance too? Amazing! If you give an LA an item, it will collect matching ones for you. It also loves music. So if there's a note block nearby, that's Yo. where it will drop them. Tiny Wait. Yens? Will One Tiny Yens ever drop an album? Was that Tiny Agnes's voice? Do you want the LA to join Minecraft? Tune in to Minecraft Live on October 16th to cast your vote and change Minecraft forever. Is this like an Just go endless back a little amount bit of any limited. supplies? And turn off the voice chat thing. Yeah, that thing. There you go. Smith, I don't care. Okay. So is All this right. a diamond farm? Is this a totem of undying farm? Is uh, this? He, it this sounds like a guy who will grab your stuff on your chest. So it so says I think instead of using food, note blocks will be how you tame it. Ooh. And, and here's the thing too. So it says it will pick up any item. So I feel like it's going to be able to like go out and grab items. Which could have some use. I don't know precisely, uh, but I it, it counts how much distance one thing, and then does it grab it from chesses? Does it gather things like a farm that's growing, or it didn't specify? But I I was under the impression because it didn't specify where it specify where they come from. It's you give it something like a cookie, and then it goes off and finds other cookies for you. So and it would be something similar to how cats bring you items when you sleep in bed. So, I mean, depending on how it works, like if the player doesn't have to be involved, could it be used for farms? Sounds That's like what a I'm duplicate thing too. Yeah. It sounds like maybe, maybe what we have to have. Maybe an possibly. I don't that think it's an auto crafter. Um, uh, but this I think is maybe a very it is... confusing compared to the last one. Maybe what it is, is you give it one item, and it will bring you two back. Uh, and it ha Or maybe you, every time you send it off to go and get an item, you have to manually do it so it's not automated. But this way, what you could do is you could- I can see like a minecart system being set up, where you're just going back and forth and holding down the right click button, uh, automatically activating these guys to go and hunt stuff for you. In which case, you can farm literally anything. The biggest question is, is he getting out of nowhere, or is he actually getting out of a certain distance? Like, I feel yeah, like, like he's picking up actual in-game items. That's what it sounds like to me. Like, actual item. Mojang is very hard on item duplicators, and I don't think they would intentionally make one. Yeah, because that... It also needs to charge, possibly using Skulk stuff. That? Oh, that's true. It shares a color scheme, and it likes music. So it could be a skulk type mob, which is like what a warden is, is a skulk type. That's what I call it. Yeah. Um, the other item I want to point out too, this is a, the second ghost type, if you will, that they presented to us. The glare was oh, ghost-like. Put them are helpers. Yes. So they are trying to basically design a new helper pet, similar to cats, dogs, and others llamas llamas are so Horses. you were Stop talking these. about a dungeon update in the last video which you guys should go check out um 
what if they were doing like like friend and foe or something like friend and foe as the update theme where it's like updating pets and updating dangerous mobs we've been talking about the possibility of them I updating mob AI. Think it's a dungeon. i think that is a good name for the update the friend and foe update yeah or uh because they've been leaning into like the x and y you know village and pillage uh caves and cliffs um and they've like the same letter so i, I don't know there's not much else in the background that I've seen either. That's interesting. Yeah, this one, in, in this, in the like the uh, the previous uh, video that was released had a ton of stuff going on in the background, including the bee suit, which we wanted to talk about a little oh, yeah. bit more in this video. Oh yeah, uh, you had an additional theory from last time. What was that uh, theory? That the bee suit could be used as a disguise, similar to pumpkins when you're facing Endermen. But the bee suit is for bees. Just yes, the bee suit is for bees, not Endermen. So basically, Absolutely. like, I could go and get honey from a beehive without a campfire and still yes. not be stung? Yes. Interesting. Although I feel like that's kind of a lame ability when it was like, yeah, I feel like a campfire would be just as easy, if not easier, to you uh, utilize. Yeah. So I would say... Maybe if you were to put on that disguise, you could take it a step further and maybe uh, control the bees as, guess what, Ooh. friends, like your little yeah. pets or allies. However, if you take the suit off, it stops working. Maybe even the bees get mad at you. So yeah, they might even risk. turn on you. That. Yeah. So, but, but they could be like, maybe, yeah, they maybe like see, see you as the queen bee and they go to protect you from hostile mobs. That could work. I, th I think that's a little far-fetched for Mojang to do, though. It is a little bit too much. They like to I mean, go a little you bit imagine the, Can you imagine the security systems you can build with something like that? Well, I mean, think about something like this guy. <laughs> if you set up something on, like, a pressure plate where anytime someone walks in the door, you could actually have this thing run on, like, a little racetrack or something and activate a bunch of pressure plates or something. Or tripwire hooks to activate well, like, a bunch of systems. if he is getting from a, if he is getting from a chest, yeah, you could do that. You give him a separate item, he goes set off a certain thing. Well, well, I mean, or you give him an item, and then he can run and basically have a system where you press a button and it drops that that item that you want, all the items that you want as identifiers. You give him, uh, let's say you have three different systems. You have wheat, iron, and a cookie. Um, and you give him the wheat, he runs and he activates everything on the wheat line, which might be, like, all your farms and stuff. Yeah, see, like, you could have him auto-collect farm. This could, like, make automated farms way easier. Because, uh... Yeah. Because yeah, there are some farms that require things like villagers. You yeah. get those set up. If you have this guy going and picking all the crops, things are going to be made way easier. So the big question is, where is he getting this stuff? That's literally how useful he will be. Yeah, which... yeah, because if it's a duplication, uh, if the machine basically like that's going to become way too overpowered. Yeah, that's going to be abused. So into I'm going to look oblivion. on like... Twitter because the Minecraft mm -hmm. devs are very notorious for saying things on Twitter that they shouldn't. Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, they won't look in unloaded well, he... chunks. Um, but while we're looking at that, um, how about Blue? You um, talk about maybe possible uses for explorers with this mob. I I see this use as for builders and redstoners, but explorer, I really don't see his use. I have an idea. What if you're raiding something like a woodland mansion? And there's a hidden that, room that's somewhere. That's more the fighters, not the explorers. Oh. Explorers okay, well, let's talk about want this to anyway. go into it themselves. That's literally what the explorer is doing. Okay. They want to do the work and find everything. So this little guy finds the things for you. He then you just took out the part of exploring going into the desert temple and trying to dodge the pressure plates and that type of thing. Well, I was thinking um, something like uh, you have gone, you've 
you found a whole bunch of treasure and you're like, I wonder if I've missed something. Maybe there's a diamond block hidden somewhere in this building that I in a small hidden room. And so you send him off to find a diamond block. And well, then you, you would... The thing is, I would think also, maybe the one thing you would use him for is to help you find certain areas, like the dark guy trying to find a cave with the other guy. Use him to try to find a place that you know only has specific blocks, so you give him yeah. the specific blocks. Yeah. Also, well, something I've noticed about his design is that it looks a lot like a Vex. Yes, yes, he does look Ooh. a lot like a Vex. So I imagine he's going to be able to pass through walls. So I don't really see him that useful for adventurers. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it might be a little bit difficult to use him in a redstone machine because he's being sent down a specific track back and forth, but he can fly through walls. It's going to be a lot harder to get him to go where you want. That is And then true. if he is a duplicate, he's going to irritate certain people in Minecraft. I have a strong feeling they won't do that, but I have not found so I've been just scrolling through Twitter for the last couple minutes. Well, um, didn't, did you say you saw something about a chunk that he won't go into for chunks? Yeah, so all I've been able to confirm is he will not be able to go into unloaded chunks. Alright, that makes it sound like he's grabbing stuff. Yeah, he's got to be going and getting something. Uh, people have apparently already modded him into the game. Uh... Monitors are just too fast. I know. Um, but as far as the builders, I do think they would have a pretty powerful use case as well. For the sake well, that, depending on how yes. they access stuff, if they access stuff by it laying on the ground, I don't know how useful they would be. But if they can reach into a chest, like, think about it this way. You're running, you see that you're on your last stack of cobblestone. You just drop a piece of cobblestone. You give it a piece of cobblestone and it brings you back a stack. From yes, your chest. He, he, he's great for a builder if he does that. If he brings you back, yeah. even if he's a duplicate, he will still help you in building. Yeah, and even I with, need this block. Okay, here. Yeah, get me this and block. even with the redstone work for you. Even if he passes through walls, I think you could still compensate for that. Um, although I oh, would still I just... prefer it that he wouldn't. Well, if, if he's opening a chest, the chest might be censored, saying it's opening up. I have a, an idea. True. What if he could do more than just fetch items for you, but also deliver items for you? Like, no, that would if, be if there's cool. a way to give him, like you're mining, and what if your inventory gets full, you want to give him your stacks of coal and iron and stuff for him to go drop off in a chest for you and come back. But that's not his description, and I don't think they're going to make him do that. If, if they were to, because I could see that as being a suggestion. Let, yeah. Let's just theorize for a second. If they were to do that, they would have to find a way to basically, you would have to be able to tie them to a chest, which could be possible. And then you could add it to an automated storage system. Um, a chest that that is on top of a music block. Like, there you go. Yeah. And the other item is that they, um, and it could be possible. There's a couple things I'll add to it in just a second. So the number one thing is Minecraft is also looking at solving inventory problems. That's the purpose of the bundle. And they've said that they want to do more. This could be a way for them oh, to yeah. solve the bundle that never happened. Uh, yeah. It is supposedly happening in the next update. Uh, the biggest issue is that it doesn't work well on bedrock, namely with touchscreens. Well, you and me have been playing Minecraft Lord of the Rings and we know how the bundle is working. <laughs> Yes, it's okay, but I will be honest with you. We have bundles with even larger storage, and it's it, it's horribly inefficient. Yeah. Uh, so it's still not the a uh, 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 one size fits all solution, and that's why I think this would be good. And on the note block concept, so they said that they are attracted to note blocks. So one thing you could do is you might have a system where like you give it um you're a stack of iron, right? And then it's gonna go try to retrieve the iron from your chest. And on, in the process, you kind of have a set of fields so that it has to go through this one region, right? To get to your chest. And it triggers a tripwire that activates a, a note block that just beeps at it. It goes over to it. And if it dances, it drops the items. It could easily be used as a drop-off point. It could. It's a very... 
interesting thing. A lot more questions. Yeah. Um, and I do, uh, but I will also say it's not as useful for all four types of players um, no. as the glare was. The glare is useful for all, if you really think. This one is counting how it works, it's how much use is going to be for different groups. This could be the most overpowered or the most underwhelming mob in Minecraft. Oh, it also yeah, could like, be one of the really hated creatures. It could be the next Phantom. Um, it could be so, the next Phantom, yeah. But yeah. It's the good Phantom, but people hate it because it makes certain things too easy for others. Yeah. So, but. Or it might end up, again, being something like the Polar Bear, where it's useless. I mean, the Polar Bear is completely useless. It does, like, yeah. nothing. But, uh. Hold on, I'm being called. Isaac? I forget what I was saying. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that. We've kind of explored this mob pretty interestingly. Um, how would y'all rate this mob? Let's start with you, Isaac. Um, it's hard to say because, again, there's a lot of questions about it. If it is ridiculously overpowered, it's a duplication, negative 10. Uh, <laughs> if it is, like, a very limited duplication, mm, I'll give it a five if it is uh ridiculously underwhelming and can't really do anything and you're more or you're better off going off and getting items yourself uh, zero so for me even <laughs> if it's a really good mob it's not going to be for all different type of players so i'm going to give it a three so i personally love the concept of it um, and I think it has more uses that people don't see yet. And there will be a whole, if this gets added, there might be a whole meta revolving around it. So I personally would give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, they, we really just, need, I sure we really have more know. stuff planned for it. And I'm sure that if I knew what those things were, I, it would probably go up to closer to a 7 or an 8 for me. But it's really hard to tell. Yeah. I also got to wonder, what biome is it in? Where do you find these guys? They're attracted to note blocks. Does that mean they're attracted well, to note blocks? If they in any look biome? like um, evokers, right? Evokers. Vex. 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 Yeah. Maybe they're in a wooden mansion. Yeah, I was wondering about that. And with but something. Do they as... get attacked by hostile mobs? I don't think it will. I don't know. There is so many questions. Yeah, I think that this is an, like a, a wild card mm -hmm. that could be crazy good or crazy bad. So if the glare ends up, like, so the glare seems sort of meh, at least to me. Uh, so if the next one is also either meh or bad, I guess I'm go I'm I'm gonna vote wild card. Yeah. Currently, <laughs> right now, between I the like the glare better than this because yeah. I can see it's used. So, I kind of like the idea of this one a little bit more than the glare, honestly. Uh, maybe it's because I just basically live with the F3 menu on. Um, even when I'm in servers where I don't need it, I have the F3 menu on sometimes. So I see this being more useful and more fun. So I would, out of the two, I'd vote for this. All right. Okay. Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm Blue Phoenix. I'm with Negative Light and Star Strikes, and we're reacting to the third mob. Bonjour. Um, and I had. Okay, a ciao. <laughs> <laughs> so I did have two comments to make really fast about this and I'm gonna adjust this on my screen so it's big so with every mob vote I've noticed that there's typically one mob that they that I think Mojang really wants in the game but aren't 100% confident that the community would like it so they kind of want to also have it be something where if the community if it's not as great of a mob they can still say it was y'all's choice kind of a thing uh it's not necessarily to say it's a fallback it's just an idea that they want to give to us and that's what i think this mob is we do know it's the copper golem based on the title here um i do and not... the little guy in the picture i don't think that that's the actual golem i Seems doubt rather it small to be a golem i know and then it, again it, it could be more... a craftable uh how about it we watch like the, the video color. and yeah. then talk about it tiny yams i'm down here 
where are we? I don't know, but look at this lovely copper. Is that a copper golem? Yes. It must be old, or a time they freeze into statues. Let's build our own copper golem. Maybe it can help us. Okay, craftable. This one has a lot of life in it. Wait just We're a second. Saved. Uh, the copper golem is a mob that you, the player, can build yourself. It oxidizes over time and loves to randomly press uh, copper buttons. Sense. So they would be added to the game as well. Will they make what? it to the show on time? Uh, oh, that makes Will they sense. Any cookies for Tiny Boo? Do you want the copper golem to join Minecraft? Tune into so randomizer on October 16th. Whoa, 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 wait. Cast minute. your vote and change Minecraft forever. Okay. Okay. May I may I make one comment before you guys do? Yes. Sure. My comment is you guys know the Minecraft um command programming classes. They the little free programming. Oh my things. gosh, that's the yeah. guy from that. That's it's the same It's not model. because that's a risk. Stone Gollum, he is there, but this is like him, but we yeah. textured with a fiend on top of his head. Yeah, I'm not sure. I hope that they can make the oxidization something where, like, for instance, maybe with the Iron Golem, you had to give it, like, copper ingots, which are farmable, so that's kind of, I would say, reasonable. By uh, the sound of it, it sounds like, like, he, after a certain amount of time, he'll start oxidizing, if he goes full through it, you can't use him unless you... Yeah, on I mean, he becomes a something? statue. Oh, okay. He's there's got to be something, um, about that. So uh, also, they hinted more on the background of like an ancient civilization left behind. So sounds like a dungeon update. Yeah, yes. I I definitely think based off of this that there's probably a dungeon update that could involve some redstone mechanics, possibly these new and old kingdoms, dungeons and allies, dungeon. Eh, see, see, my uh, only problem. It's old in the new. It's just old no, in the new. no. Here's the or thing, stuff. is that they love alliteration and rhyming. Village and pillage, caves and cliffs, something that rolls off the tongue. So th those are not good uh, names. No, but uh, it seems like it's stuff involving old, the stuff you could find in the past, and then stuff you can make for the future. Past and present. That doesn't. Yeah. No, that that's it. Yeah. Yes. But we're getting off topic. The Yeah. So for Gollum. So Star Strikes, what are your thoughts of its utility with redstone? Because I want to see your thoughts before I say mine. Well, on one hand, I'm like, "Oh boy, a randomizer." And on the other hand, I'm like, "We already have about a million different ways to build randomizers. What how is this one going to be any different? Is it going to be more compact? Is it going to give a uh, slightly different type of speed or what because we've already got a million different types of randomizers hey um also if you think about what we talked about the last guy with him being going off and pressing the open a chest and grabbing items as a trigger he's like a trigger now well and here's the thing too you can literally make that mob be something that goes and presses buttons for you you just release him in a maze with copper buttons in it, and then you have it where he can activate sequence arguments or something else like that. So I could see this as an incredibly useful mob. I would like to see how it's developed. Also adding new buttons too. Yes, adding new buttons, which if they're going to do it, I hope they make like a pulse button. And I mean more more like the observer type pulses, you know what I'm saying, um, Star Strikes? That one tick pulse? Uh, yeah. You mean, one that, you mean okay, a one tick button. Yeah, like a one tick button. I don't. I, 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 would, I would like that. I th I think that that kind of fits with the idea of it. Phil, it would make T flip flops so much more compact. Oh my gosh, yes, it would. Because currently <laughs> you have to add the pulse converters. Yeah. Okay. They're not they're not too oversized as they are. Ever since observers got added, they've been really easy to shape however you need. But this would just make it like another two blocks smaller. The other thing would be the fact that these things are statues. These things become statues, so that means, technically speaking... Decoration! Builders! Heck, it, okay. If it's they're done right, they could be used like armor stands are, where, like, they have the same positioning system, which I would love, mm -hmm. personally. And then what happens is the people at, like, Vanilla Tweaks or something can easily update the uh, armor stand book to work with these guys, and now you have a new type of armor stand, which I do mm -hmm. want to comment... They made sure the bee suit stayed here. 
Yes. And the flashlight. So those are two things that were on their mind to absolutely make sure were in the videos. So yeah, and something. So think about it. The robot turned on. They said this is ancient, and then the robot goes turn on some redstone stuff. So is there going to be structures with redstone lighting and powering and fancy doors now? Yeah, this seems to be yeah. the way the new dungeons are. Yeah. And, now and... I gotta wonder how because like we've already because I've been wanting redstone naturally spawning structures for a while now we've had we've had it limited to jungle temples and iron doors in the uh woodland mansions and that's it oh yeah and also the pyramids but that's yeah all really basic really yes. lame redstone yeah and also i've been kind of going through twitter to see any people's theories or any statements from the minecraft devs they're actually being fairly silent dream hasn't put out a tweet about this yet which is good. Uh, I think the only joke I've heard so far is King B Dobbs, who's a Minecraft dev, saying that I'm going to dream the rig vote. Um, because, yeah, please dream, um, don't rig this. Guys, but I'm looking at this background. The background with the lighting almost looks like the Iron Golem himself. You mean the little statue like thing? or? Oh yes, my gosh, yes, is. I see it. Look. The yeah, little head, yeah, I can see it too. Build the of. antenna. That's intra. Oh, this yeah, could be a new type noticed... of temple. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you can you find the these things too? oxidized, which means if they're oxidized, you can deoxidize them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so what, what happens is you find them in the temple, you deoxidize them, they press random buttons, and then they open a pathway for you. Yes. That so is ingenious. It, 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 that's just cool for adventurers because if he is in the place where you can find him and then you activate him and he opens you a new adventure, that's cool for adventurers. For oh, create yeah. for builders, if he turns into like a statue, then he's great decorations because you always need more decorations. And then fighters, now mind you, I think the fighters will and then require donors. Yeah. No, he would work with fighters. Yeah. If I, you set him up, he can do your booby trap. Yeah, you. what I was or, about to say. Oh, yeah, the imagine. And activate all the traps so you don't get blown up. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. Wait, imagine if you built like a redstone defense base, like where you have, where you normally what you would do is you would pull a bunch of levers and buttons to activate traps and weapons to keep people out of a certain location. What if you uh, had, saw somebody coming? And you're the only guy in there. You can't manage all the weapons. So you have these, you activate these guys to go around and press buttons for you. Yeah. So there was or like a. You have a place you want protected and you make sure it's unchunk loaded. So when you're gone, you have him set up. And when the chunk gets loaded, when somebody comes in, he'll activate. Yeah. And he's just randomly pressing buttons. I mean, number one, oh, obviously. So uh, I'm not done. I'm sorry. Good. Uh, also. You could bring him along on your adventures, and you want to figure out where all the triggers for the traps are. He's going to find those buttons. Yeah, mind you, it's only copper buttons that he's going to yes, activate towards. But people might use them, and that could. Yes. Um, I definitely think that this mob. Okay, out of the three so far, this mob has, I think, the most potential. Fighters can use it, redstoners can use it, builders can use it, and adventurers can use it. I want to add one more thing. He has a lightning rod on his head. Does he yeah. extract lightning? I don't know, but the, there oh, is a theory I did see that the way to build these guys, like you would with other um, mobs, is you basically would take and put like a copper block and then a lightning rod on top, and that would make us. And then that I would see. make him. He would be the first mod to build on a crafting table. I would like him to be a crafting table mob, personally. I never considered mobs being on a crafting table, because all the other ones have to be either built or naturally spawned somehow. Also, or thrown out of an egg. Say, Fiend, there's a lot more lore with this guy as well than the other two. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, and something that Mojang has, and I think they've even hired someone intentionally, they're focusing on lore. That's the whole point of the archaeology stuff. That's possibly the oh my gosh lore and more yep. and that would work for archaeology and all that yeah yeah thanks matt pat for that i'm sure it's like <laughs> he started putting out his videos and suddenly mojang is like oh we should really lean into yes. this well it's popular so i think that we've kind of analyzed this one pretty well yes um so i guess we'll start with 
Um, Star Strikes. One out of ten. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna give it an eight. Because I, because I think that if done right, this could be like a massive uh, uh, plus for the game. But if it really is nothing more than pressing random buttons, it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna become kind of boring. Although uh, it will be nice for builders. Yeah. Um, I personally would say a ten because of just it's it's got the most utility. It likely offers the largest chance for lore overall i think it'll be one of the most interesting i think it's the most interesting mob currently what about you blue i'm going to give it a nine it still has a chance to disappoint like all mobs do but it's right now the one that sounds like it has opportunity for most of the groups yeah now there is something that i think that we should ask um yes. when the phantom was announced it was given this fantastic presentation. Everybody loved the idea. It sounded so cool, and it ended up being the worst mob in the game. Now, what are the potential downsides to having this, the copper golem in the game? Well, number uh, he he oh. gets in your way. He he also dies in the really bad spot. And he's in your way. Yeah. If you have a redstone system that's dependent on a on a golem, you're going to have to have a copper farm, guaranteed. Might also but if want you're to be going to have a redstone farm, buttons. you're going to have a copper farm in the way. True. So, see, this is one of those mobs. I think it'll be hard to see its negatives. If you look at all the other ones, they also all could have negatives. They're they're yeah. all in these I areas. Think, I think the heart, the weakest thing that all three mobs have in common is AI. Um, yes. Mojang has very poor pathfinding AI and stuff, and they have been working to improve that consistently over the last few updates. So maybe this is kind of their excuse too, because all three mobs in the mob boat will require a massive update to the pathfinding algorithms. So now... I think we have said all we can, so just vote yeah. for which ones we like, and then you guys vote for which ones you want, the viewers. Yeah, I think that we should leave with maybe who we would vote for out of the three. As a note, vote for who you think is best. You. Me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think, to no one's chagrin, uh, that's probably not the right word, I'm gonna, I would vote for the Copper Golem on Saturday. Sorry, Strikes. Copper Golem, because the array or LA is just too much of a wild card. I'm gonna go with Copper Golem too. Okay. I already know what my second one will be. As well. Yeah. So. And I'm gonna say this: you guys comment below yes. on our videos to tell us what you're gonna vote for. Yeah, and maybe give us and a maybe little bit why. of a why. It's yeah. Just a little why. Yeah. Also, if there's something in the backgrounds that we've missed, point it out. Please. Oh, yes. We're blind. Oh. <laughs> yes, we also noticed something in the first video. Which one? What what do we miss? The the one we found showing the mobs. Oh, that one. Yeah, we'll make something uh we yeah. might have something special coming out on Saturday involving that. So make sure to tune in and subscribe to our channels. Star Strikes, how about you take us out today? The interesting thing Number one, we do have a primary theory of what this update might be called. There are two different things that this update could be called. Number one is the Dungeons and Dragons update. You'll have to stay tuned to our channels and to Black Moonlight, um, a fellow channel of ours, where we talk about this more in depth with some of our other friends who you don't usually see in our videos. But there are some other things that we've thought this could be called or that it might involve. Uh, the first one that I thought of was redstone. All three of these mobs currently have a very strong redstone use case, less so to the gloom, but especially the Olay and the copper golem. And historically speaking, the mob boats tend to coincide with, like the theme of the mob boat tends to coordinate to the theme of the main, of, or a component of the main update. And the other theory is uh, that, I believe, Blue, you have that one. 
Yes. The other fairy is this is very different from other boat creatures. The other boat creatures are usually hostile or it's just neutral in the middle. Also, Otto is the closest thing to a friendly help, but you have to scoop it up yeah. and you dump it. In uh, Axolotl wasn't even a voting mob. No, it wasn't. Never mind. I'm a, I don't know why I said it was. But the voting mobs, they weren't really helpful, but this one is a true companion that helps you no matter what in different fields to do what you want to do. Yes. So it's a very help orientated and it seems like that might affect the update. They might be adding more things to help us. The other thing that they might be adding is new structures. So a big thing that we were talking about and the reason why we thought of the Dungeons and Dragons update or Born Legends in the case that they can't secure the copyright is that they were in a dungeon. They actually made a comment about this build you see to the left hand or to the right hand side of the video. Builds in this update could be fairly important. Again, all three of these mobs would greatly help builders as well as your adventurers. And talking about adventurers, they really helped the adventure and then also they hinted at structures and using the iron golem maybe to help you get through some of them. And the guy who finds the darkness might help you find the structures as well through the darkness. And the guy who's helping you pick up all the loot. So it's definitely a adventure oriented as well. Yes. And the other and last thing is something very interesting that we found in the first video, which we're going to go to right now. This clip right Ooh. here. On October 16th, they get to vote. That falling through with the grass. Yes, it could be that they're kind of doing two dimensional stuff and three dimensional stuff at the same time, but we theorize that they might be adding some form of trapped grass or grass and, that is designed to be like floating or something and or this sick is, traps also this is why one thing if you look at the thing underneath is water so it might be a plant with water because she fell through water and initially she pushed the grass and fell through and that would greatly add to the trappability of minecraft which they've been kind of intentionally doing recently actually snow block snow block the leaf uh the drop leaf yep it'll be very interesting to see what 1.20 is potato you should subscribe go press the subscribe button and click it away smash it and click the like a potato